Are you satisfied with the recording technique no, generally? No, not at no. all. It makes me so yeah. mad. Because, see, that's part of us. Yeah. And, like, see, like, we recorded and everything, and then all of a sudden, something happens, and it just comes out all screwed up. You just get so mad. You just don't want to know about it anymore. Well, Eddie Kramer was, like, a very good engineer. And to be able to make Hendrix happy, because what he was looking for was nobody else was really getting, really. If you listen to his records, you can hear that there's a lot of technical uh, expertise being beyond musical. <laughs> So Eddie Kramer was like, you know, a big part of what happened in, in terms of being able to get, make that sound the way Hendrix wanted it to, you know. See, when you cut a record, if you want a sound where you can, really deep sound, you know, where you have depth and all this, you must almost remix it again right there, the cutting place. And 99% don't even do this. They just go and say, oh yeah, turn it up there, make sure that it doesn't go over there, make sure it doesn't go under, you know. And there it is. It's nothing but one dimensional. It's got to be a stroke of luck if you're Jimi Hendrix and you find him, or they find each other, however that happened. That's lucky. Could have been a lot, a lot of other people, maybe, that wouldn't have been right, you know? You know, that's why I say we're, we're very lucky. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to more Rock Talk TV.